right, so I am here at the clinic. Um, it is currently a Saturday, and my dad just told us that we have a skunk coming in from Shades of Hope, who just got admitted there today. And this skunk seems to be in rough condition. He apparently swallowed some bones. Um, like, I don't know if they're chicken bones or bird bones or what, but <laughs> yeah, he swallowed something he shouldn't have and it's showing up on x-rays and he's throwing up all of these bones. Um, so we're gonna try to do emergency exploratory surgery today um, and open up the stomach and maybe the intestines. I don't, I don't think we've ever had a skunk here, so that's pretty, pretty exciting. A little unfortunate for the skunk, but hopefully he will be okay. And I'm very excited to see um, to see the surgery and to see how this busy day unfolds uh, because we also have appointments going on at the same time as well. Dad, are you excited or nervous? How are you feeling? Uh, My heart's yeah, beating. I'm always a little bit. <laughs> I'm always a little bit nervous. I mean, I've never done surgery on a skunk before, but it's pretty much. Uh... It's pretty much like a cat. Um, I've never done surgery on a skunk before either. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm nervous for the patient. It doesn't matter that it's a skunk, really. It's uh, these these abdominal surgeries can sometimes be very very difficult, and, and this guy's pretty weak and sick, so uh, anesthesia is going to be tricky. But uh, I think we can pull through it. Yeah. And uh, you know, as long as he keeps his stinky butt to himself, we're gonna be yeah. uh, we're gonna be a okay. Otherwise. <laughs> This guy's really, really weak. Uh, he is dehydrated, his gums are quite dry, his blood pressure's still good though. Uh, breathing really quickly, which is I think both the dehydration and the pain. He's quite bloated in the abdomen and sore, uh, which we don't, you know, it's not a surprise, um, but uh, he's, he's, he's in a lot of pain, he's pretty sick. Other than an obstruction, there could be a toxin that's uh, involved in this as well. skunk was just transferred into the surgery room. He's all scrubbed up. We're just getting him tied right now um, and all ready for surgery. So we got to grab our caps and then we're going to get started. So this is his stomach, which one, it's severely dilated with gas, but two, it's way far more caudal towards the back end than it is in cats and dogs. Let's do a quick exploratory and then we'll go into the stomach and deal with what we need to do. Look at that, see that? Mm -hmm. Slight in a susception. Isn't that cool? Yeah. How that? it's folded in on itself. Is that? It's, it's just folds uh, due to spasming and muscle constriction. Whoa. Look at the lymphatic ducts. Because they have so little, pretty much no body fat within their, like within their organs. You can see all these things. Look at that. So the darker spots in the intestine. Um, like this stuff? Yeah, that's just air? It's, no, this or is ingesta. This is like this food, is food or okay, yeah, something he's swallowed. That's fat. So, stomach into the pyloric sphincter, intestine, 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 small intestine. So, uh, what is it? Duodenum, jejunum, ileum? 
Yes. Yes. Duodenum jejunum. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. I know duodenum yes. is first. Duodenum and ileum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then eventually down here is the colon. Look at that blood vessel. Oh, it's, it's, and it's pulsing. So you don't want to hit that. Spleen looks good. Kidney feels good. Bladder is turgid. Mm -hmm. So why are we doing this? Uh, solution to pollution is dilution. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to help with any of the inflammation, blood clots that might eventually be formed if there's any leakage from the uh, stomach when I cut into it. And also he'll absorb the fluids. Having the intestines out like that can dry them out too and can damage the tissue. So this just rehydrates them. that are alive. Goodness, did not have noodles for breakfast. So severe worm impactions can cause obstructions, either because of just the, the, the volume and the size and the density, or also the spasming that they cause. So how would we treat this then? Something like revolution? No, we would just do like a pyrantel or panicure. Like a oral dewormer. Okay. Okay. I would recommend no one breathe through their nose. They, they, they're, they're, so they're probably hooks. Hooks or whips. This is extremely gross. <laughs> so can you can you pass these worms just by like touching them? Like, can you catch them? Yeah. No. So most of these worms require an intermediate host. So this guy is the primary host. He's infected. He will pass eggs in his stool. Those eggs will usually hatch into larva or be ingested by uh, another animal like a mouse or something like that. And then say a, a dog will eat the mouse and, that's how the dog and pick up fish. those. Yeah. So like if we were to get the eggs, most of the time it would just cause damage to our muscle. It wouldn't actually turn into worms. So because I don't eat meat, I'm okay. From these parasites. There are parasites you can get from vegetables if you don't wash them. Well, cryptosporidium is a good one. Always cook your meats properly yes. and always wash your vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> These are called stay sutures, because when we put them in, we go, now stay. <laughs> they basically fold things open. I hope that it will help you to do a better job. Right, right, that's the skunk. It's nobody <laughs> else but the skunk. Good job, Mr. Skunk. Thanks, Emily. Now you just get some fluids and you'll be all good to go. So we have a little baby bunny here that somebody found on the side of the road. So it is just a day filled with wildlife. <laughs> so Gail from Shades of Hope is still here with the skunk. So we're hoping that she'll um, take the baby bunny back to and take care of him and grow him, grow him, <laughs> nurse him to full size, and then eventually he'll be released also. So it's quite an exciting day.
the baby bunny was found by an Amazon driver um, just at the side of the road. Likely the mom was um, killed somehow. Um, so thank you to that good Samaritan who picked him up because uh, now he's probably going to do great and he has a wonderful chance of growing to a strong, healthy rabbit. Wakey, wakey, skunky, skunky, mm -hmm. let's keep your so tail tucked. To, uh, five more months, minutes, if he's still not extubated, extubate him and put him on a mask with uh, oxygen. Okay. And keep him on the monitor. Mm -hmm. and we'll kind of keep an eye okay. and then five minutes of that take him off so he's on room air mm -hmm. keep an eye on his oxygen and then we'll know that he's okay. so i was always scared of having to do surgery on a skunk because i was like oh what if they spray and you know i feel like that's so messy and i didn't want to smell like skunk for weeks but my dad being a smart person informed me today that when you keep their tail tucked they cannot spray you, um, they can't like uh, use that muscle, I guess, <laughs> that they have, um, unless their tail is up, um, to release the, the juices, so, <laughs> so yeah, we're just keeping his tail tucked, and I think that skunks are very underappreciated and beautiful animals, and I think we should all treat them with a little bit more kindness and respect, because um, they truly are miraculous to see um, up close and from far away. So I will no longer be scared of skunks when I see them in the wild. <laughs> so we're doing the final exam here of Mr. Skunk before he goes back to Shades of Hope for his long-term care and recovery. And hopefully, if all goes well, he will be able to be released. But as you say, He's not out of the woods quite yet. Not out of the woods yet. He smells like he's been smoking weed. <laughs> well, what else would have that skunky smell? His eyes are also squinty from the anesthesia, so... <laughs> oh, weed. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Mary Jane, but it's a boy. Time to go back home, sort of. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey, Mr. Skunk. Thanks, Dad, for saving his life. Well, Maybe. so far, <laughs> I think uh, I feel a lot better, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Be kind to animals.